What's up everyone? Before I start, I just want to say, go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. That's where like the majority of the content is now, so just go do that if you haven't already. Just finished up midterms last week and I wanted to share some tips while it's fresh in my mind. But I want to caveat that this is being filmed in 2020 during the COVID outbreak, so all the midterms were online. So for midterms, I had five tests spread out over five days, and it was a bunch of different types of tests. There was take-home tests that weren't timed, there was timed tests, there was timed case studies, there's there's a multitude of, of different types of tests. And of course, since everything is online, it was all open book, open note, open pretty much everything. So having gone through it now, from my perspective, midterms really shouldn't be a big stressful event like they are for undergrad. It's really kind of more of I'm an Asmith check. Now that's gonna depend on where you go to school. Here at Wharton, we have a grade non-disclosure policy. So grades are, I don't wanna say they're not important, but they're, they're less important. Which I actually think is really great and really smart because it makes it so people don't just compete against each other, people actually collaborate. And it makes it so you don't have to focus and, and work really hard on classes that maybe don't matter to you or aren't interesting to you or aren't relevant to you. You can really double down on the classes that are important, on the professional, getting a job stuff, trying new things. I actually really think it's a great policy. But at other schools, it might, midterms might be more of a big deal. I, I don't know. But for our situation, I definitely suggest using midterms as just kind of, kind of a, a temperature gauge. Here they gave us what I would consider a good amount of time to study. Most of the class's last session before midterms was midterm review. All throughout midterms, there weren't really any classes. Although there's, there's like weird one-off cases where you had a class during midterms, which is, uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But it was a good amount of time to study and kind of figure out, okay, where am I at in this class? That being said, there's definitely tests that I studied not that much for and a lot for. Personally, I came to business school and specifically Warden because I want to sharpen my hard skills. I want to get the accounting, the finance, all those business fundamental skills that atrophied while I was in the military. And I'm less worried about some of the more theoretical stuff. So midterms was a great opportunity, well midterms and the whole non-disclosure grade policy, it's a great opportunity for me to focus on those things that I really want to get good at and not worry so much about the things that I don't think are that important for my personal situation. So my advice is early on, preferably really before classes even start, but definitely by midterms is figure out what classes are important to you and which ones aren't and stick to it. Don't don't feel like you need to be pressured because, oh, everybody's studying so hard for this econ midterm and, you know, I thought it's not that important, but I don't want to be like the one person. Like, no. If you if you decide, and especially after going through the class for a little bit, that, you know what, this, this subject just isn't that relevant for me, stick to that. Stick to your guns. Figure out which ones are, double down, crush those. Also, I don't think there's any need to become a, a social pariah during midterms. I think there's plenty of time. I think you can study and work hard, especially on the classes you care about, and still be social. I know for me, some of my greatest learning experiences so far in my first quarter here at Wharton has been through conversations with peers, not textbooks and, and sitting in class. So keep being social, keep meeting people, keep, you know, build, I don't like the term, but you know, like building the network, keep just interacting, learn stuff from them and have a good time. You're in business school, after business, this is kind of like your last time before you are a certified real adult. For me, I feel like I needed to study a little more than maybe the average uh, MBA student, probably partially because coming from the non-traditional background, but also because classes are online and maybe I haven't been as good at focusing during those classes as I should be. Uh, but that being said, I was still able to be social during midterms and be successful on the tests. So I think the big picture takeaway here is midterms aren't a joke. They're, they're definitely not, but they're not this big stressful end all be all event like it often felt like it was in undergrad. Prioritize what you want to learn, learn it, and continue to meet people and be social and get out there. And of course, prepare for quarter two because if you plan on doing any structured recruiting like consulting or banking, quarter two is, is big. And from the end of quarter one until January, February is going to be your busiest and probably most stressful time in business school. So get ready for that. 
But anyway, those are just some of my thoughts having just gone through midterms. I uh, wanted to share it to you while it's fresh in my mind. Hope it's helpful. Again, follow me on Instagram to see more of the day-to-day -day of what being at a, at a top business school is really like. And yeah, that's all I've got. So until next time, keep going.